This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. Debug random shape position. Okay. Debug random shape movement. Right now in this program, each rectangle has its own random position. It does. And yeah, yep, it does. Okay. Can you make, oh, that's blinking a lot. Uh, can you make it so that the rectangles are always stacked on top of each other, but the entire stack is random? positioned. Run the program, see how it works. Use the variable x position to draw the bottom two rectangles at the same x position as the top. All right, so we have a variable right here, x position, and that's what they're talking about. Now, what is x position? Well, when we run it, it's going to be equal to any number between 0 and 150, including 0 or 150. So maybe it's equal to 85. Now, Cool, we ran that. Now we fill pink, so we grab some pink paint and we draw a rectangle at what position? X position. The computer says, what in the what? What's X position? Bam. Oh, X position. Oh, yeah. And like I said, we'll pretend it was 75 when it ran random numbers. So X position then would be 75. The computer finds X position and says, okay, 75 is my location for X. Y is 100. And then this is the size, width, and height. Okay. Now we grab some purple paint and the computer says rectangle. Oh, I need to pick a random number zero to 70, zero to 150. Okay. 12. And suddenly this rectangle is not right next to or right in line with the other because we're making it find a new random number. However, instead of doing this, we ran random number once at the top when the program started. Right? And X position was equal to what I said was 75. Maybe it's equal to 90. It doesn't really matter. Random number one will run once and define the variable. Maybe your X position is 90 now. Okay. Once it is though, once it runs, we can write X position a hundred times in the program. And what's X position? It's 90. It doesn't run random number each time. It runs it once when the program starts. And that's what X position is for the program. So we can keep using that number that was generated once at the beginning anywhere we want. And that will keep it all the same, but allow us to have a random number used in multiple ways. Let's give it a shot. Quabam, 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 quabam. Pretty cool. And now it can move and change but they'll always be right in line. Success. Onward.